might still be out there. Today we're taking a look at the M590A1 shotgun and ghost recon breakpoint, okay? And for the setup, we're using the STG suppressor, the PEC-15, the holographic sight, and lastly, the shift angled short grip, all right? And this thing's gonna be a solid, sturdy uh, stealth shotgun that we have built here today, okay? We got that STG suppressor on it, and we're gonna be running all black fits. So, you know, we're gonna be in that dead of night, and we're gonna be hitting up the Skull Foundation Center, or the Skull Foundation Campus, I should say. And uh, for my kit, we're gonna be going with all black everything we got that future soldier helmet future soldier vest we got those oakley si assaults and uh, we got those armored baggy pants okay and then we also got those black hawk trident boots and um let's see what we got here so this is all built in you don't need to worry about that but we got the hills backpack we got the uh, cry combat g3 and uh, what else we got here? We got the face mask, so we got the stealth balaclava on. Um, and then we got the ghost patches. And uh, I got the uh, the nods on the L3GPs. And then I got the Echelon Karambit. And uh, that's the all black fit here today. I guess you can see it's kind of ghost recon -y, future soldiery, I guess. But let's get started. see them yet. Activating night vision. Find a good spot over there. We're moving there now. I'll turn mine on. Let's, let's keep on going here. Civvy right here didn't even get hit, so that's good. Time to switch to night vision. Right back of the head. Nice. <laughs> that was so good. Perfect, man. 
So yeah, these shotguns, especially suppressed, one shot to the head of the heavies, and, the, and you're golden, man. You don't gotta worry about it. Uh, so, so keep that in mind. But yeah, we, we can't get too lucky with these EMPs here today. And I do see more targets down there lit up in white. Activating night vision. Night vision on. Alright, two sentinel here. Can't deal with him yet. Alright, let's get Vastly to move up. I need you to sit in a new position. Over there. We're moving there now. Perfect. Activating night vision. Okay, so two sentinel right here. Easy pickings, man. And uh, yeah, I see one heavy all the way back there. He's kind of in the shadows now. All right, so let's get Vasily to move up right here. Get to that new position. Perfect. And uh, the heavy that's hiding right here. Let's try and center mass shot him. See how our, how how many it, it takes. All right, that was three. I I, I did follow up with the fourth um, because I got a little nervous there, but we're good, man. We are good. So that's what that thing does. So the M590 one shotgun, while it's suppressed, uh, three shots center mass to a heavy, and you can take it down. But alternatively, you got alter uh, alternatively, guys. Just go for that uh, that head, man. Go for that head. It's one hit uh, with 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 the shotties. Well, with this shotty, I, I can't speak for the others. I don't really use them too much, but this one right here, one shot to the head. Um, but we are at the Pythagoras Hall here. Um, this thing's probably filled up with sentinel, as I can. I spotted one through the window here. Let's have a look. moving out but look at all these dead bodies here now the one thing about operation motherland is that it did uh, it added some nice dressing to this, these different areas and sure i sound a little psychotic because i'm saying nice dressing as a in regards to dead human bodies <laughs> just littered all over the place um but i'm so tempted to shoot this guy right through this glass right here man anyway We'll wrap up it and we'll clear it out. This is a building, uh, the, the Pythagoras Hall here, guys. This is one of the biggest examples of, of criminally underpopulated uh, areas, okay? Um, but let, let's deal with these guys and then we'll, we'll, we'll discuss that once we make our way in, all right? Let's do this now. Perfect. Should be another one around here. Yeah. A little oppressor. Holy, oh, one more. <laughs> the way their bodies flip, they just like do these backflips, these animations. <laughs> oh man. All right, let, let's make our way inside here. Put my night 
goggles on. Nice. We'll take care of that seeker. Oh, one more. Perfect. That was nice and clean, man. We killed like what? Three Sentinel, one Seeker. Anyway, so up here, um, floor one of Pythagoras Hall, you're going to see how dead it is. There's actually, I believe, four floors in here because I did do it. There's a mission or two that, that are located in here. Um, there's one where you got to extract people. I'm pretty sure I did a video on it actually back when Motherland came out. But yeah, this area is so criminally underrated, man. And it's so sad, too. It really is. Um, because there's a lot of great floors with all these rooms and you'll see once we go upstairs i mean i feel like i'm going to be wasting our time going to check the upstairs floors here but i mean i, I got to do this for completionist's sake and i got to be sure that there's no more targets so we are going to go up there and we are going to double check it but yeah man look at this man look look at this room right here we go in it and look look at that it's it's completely detailed inside but there's just nothing man there's nothing just imagine if we were moving floor to floor taking cover and there's dudes just fucking dumping bullets at you from those kind of railings up top firing down at you at the different floors just getting into some real heated intense gunfights um brutal it'll be brutal gunfights man and uh, you get some outcast reinforcements to push in on the side of the building and they kind of help come and help you and stuff. And it's just, I'm thinking of all these great scenarios, all these like war-like scenarios when I'm playing this um, that I can't really bring to fruition because this game necessarily doesn't necessarily allow for you to do that. Um, all right. So it's a little bit underpopulated, like I said, in certain areas, this being one of them, this building. It's all dead up here. But uh, I guess I showed it to you guys, one, to prove my point, and two, again, um, because I wanna, uh, com I'm a completionist in terms of what we're trying to do here today. I wanna make sure no targets are left, all right? And that's why we came all the way up here, but let's sprint the hell down because this is boring. It, they just don't care. They just, it's criminally underpopulated. But I mean, I did pick this area because there's a lot of ground and foot patrols. So, I mean, it kind of does have some good, uh, healthy amount of targets for us to really test out this uh, silent shoddy out. This kind of tact our tactical shotgun setup out. Um, so I can't knock this area too hard. Um, but again, like those buildings, cr criminally underpopulated, okay? And then there, there I've said it enough. And we'll, uh, we'll settle back down here. Drone it up here. Yeah, all right, we got one trooper from the boat arc there, so let's go get him. Activating mine. And then we'll uh, we'll continue on cleaning up whoever's left. Let's switch to night vision. Keep your eyes open. Enemies nearby. Yeah, right here. See who's in here, another criminally underrated building here. Yeah, I don't even want to go through it, but let's do it. Why not? We gotta get around.
activating night vision goggles. Nice shot. There's still some, uh, there still should be like a pocket of targets we missed, and then we'll make our way to that helo area at the top, and, uh, we'll, uh, we'll extract out that way. We won't use the helo to extract, but we'll go out that way, is what is what I'm saying. But we do have one, uh, automated gunner here that's opened up, and, uh, I'll just go hack that and take it down. Oh yeah, we got one target here. targets oh four targets we're gonna bounce between each one real quick yeah buddy that's it right there one more perfect <laughs> now that right there is what all of this walking around was leading up to that nice quick four kills that we bounced between to really showcase this thing being an all-around tool to get the job done and the m590a1 shotgun even while it's suppressed uh, is a beast man and it really does allow you on the fly to just remove targets one by one by one by one. And it's all really dependent upon how good your aim is. So guys, keep that in mind, man. If you're looking for something that's fun as hell, just something to go crazy with, equip a shotgun, man. Throw on a silencer if you want. Maybe toss on an all black fit like you're seeing here today. Um, doesn't have to be the same as mine, but do your thing, buddy. Do whatever you gotta do and you'll have a good time, man. Night vision on. So let's get out of here now. I don't think this is the, uh, no, we do have a little bit of ways to go. We got, this is the Archimedes Hall here. So yeah, once we walk all the way around, uh, we'll be able to extract, all right? But yeah, as you can see, guys, the stealth approach went well, um, so. Not too bad, not too shabby. Switching the night vision. Um, but yeah, we are gonna just get out of here now. We will run around this way here. Right here, we got a heavy. 
I'm switching right to the head. Nice job. I'll turn mine on. Done. But yeah, sometimes I like to start here and work my way in and then pretty much finish where we started. But now today we, we did it the opposite and we're actually going to take this helo and evac because why not, man? It was a nice clean run. <laughs> We really got to test out this shotgun. We got to really kind of uh, dip into uh, uh, that stealth, man. Really uh, lean in on it. Those shadows, all black, all black, everything. Tactical shotguns, baby. And uh, I hope, uh, I hope we do uh, bring, bring, bring mention and bring notice to uh, the fact that some of these areas are criminally underpopulated. And that's something I'd like to see addressed in the next game. All right, guys. And as always, if you made it to the end, thank you for watching, and take it easy.